Okay, knobs on, and I've reassembled the radio, put the faceplate temporarily back in position. Um, so now what we have to do is we have to uh, go into the firmware and set up our switch. So I'll show you how to do that now. First thing you need to do, though, is make sure you have the latest version of the firmware installed on your Pro. So go to www.er9x.com. And from there, you'll find the latest version of ER Sky 9X for the 9XR Pro. You need to uh, download that and flash that to your radio. So make sure you have the latest firmware for your 9XR Pro. Now, if you do have that, um, you'll find that the hardware menu is uh, disabled by default. So you, this stops people from accidentally getting in there and um, mess, messing up their radio. So... To access the hardware menu, which is what we need to do, you press the left trim button, horizontal trim to the left, while turning on your radio. Welcome to ER Sky 9X. Okay, now our hardware menus will be accessible. Okay, so as you know, you press that button to access the radio setup. Okay, and we'll scroll down to hardware. Enter. Let's keep scrolling down. And eventually you'll get to position switch. Now I've accessed this just just a second ago. Um, it'll eventually come up with none of this stuff here, and it'll be blank. What you do is you just uh, press the side buttons here, and you will dial up one of the three pots. Now we've replaced pot three, so go to pot three. Here we are just going to calibrate the switch. So turn the switch to position zero, so fully counterclockwise position zero. So I've done that. But you can't see what I'm doing with the switch there. Once you've got it in the position zero, scroll down to where it says position zero, okay, and then just press the menu button. Okay, nothing will happen there. It's position zero. Now go up one. Let's come down to position one, press menu, and you'll see the values have changed. Go to position two, come down to position two and press menu. Go to position three, come down to three, press menu. Go to position four, la di da di da. And of course, go to four, press menu. Go to five, and press menu. Okay, and our switch is now calibrated. So you can exit from there. To double check that that is exactly what has happened, you can have a look at the switch diagnostics so just press there and press menu now you'll see here that should change while I was talking I was positioned back to position zero so as I dial through the switches one two three four five okay remember it starts at zero that's why it doesn't come up with six zero all the way through to five okay so our six position switch is, is working. That's all good. Now, uh, we can exit from here. Now, keep exiting all the way to, now what I've done is I've, I've actually set up a mix for the switch. Um, it's actually on channel 20. So you come across here to there. Now, this number here is where the switch is set. Okay, so by default, without doing any more work, the switch is set to at the position zero, minus 100%, minus 41, minus 12, plus 12, 12, 13, 36, and plus 100. So there are the, the values. Now those values are very close together, uh, particularly around the middle. So uh, I supposedly they are set up that way for the for your quadcopters, um, so if if that's correct, that's all you need to do. But for us tankers, we need to adjust those those values. And rather than you know go back to that switch and remove those resistors that are on there and put new resistors on, we can simply use one of the nine point curves that are supplied to readjust those values. Um, and that is what I will show you next. Okay, welcome back to what hopefully is now the last part of our six position switch. Now, when in the 
last section of the video before I left you, we went through the positions of the switch and we found that by default it will give us minus 100, minus 41, minus 12, plus 13, plus 36, plus 100. Now they're supposed to be evenly spaced, but that, that doesn't look too evenly spaced to me. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So those are the default settings that you'll get when you install your switch. Um, and if your whatever you're controlling uses those, that's fine. You need to not worry about that. However, ASP requires these settings. We require minus 80, sorry, minus 100, minus 85, minus 70, plus 70, plus 85 and plus 100. This is on channel six, so we can trigger each of the sound banks. So how do we do that? How do we change from those settings, the default settings, to the settings we require? Well, to do that, we use a curve, okay? And this is what we do. Okay, so I've actually done set up ASP here on, again, uh, channel 20. And I've put in the curve, and as you can see, this is position zero, and we've get, if you have a look here, minus 99.9. .9. Now that is close enough. Now you can be like two or three whole unit digits off um, without a worry. So 99.9 .9 is more than perfect. Um, and let's go through that's position zero. Position one will give us there, pretty close to 85. Uh, 69.9, .9, that's darn close to 70, minus 70. Then the next position, 70, 85, and plus 100. So I've cal well set that up now to give the settings that we want for, for ASP. Okay, so I did that by going into the curves menu. So go across, across, scroll down until you get to curves, this menu. Now... The curve you want to use uh, is the very last curve in this series, and I think on, uh, Mike has said that he's going to be adding more of these curves in the next firmware, but if you've got this firmware, you need to go all the way down to Curve 17 and press Menu. Now, Curve 17 is special because it has both X and Y variables, so you can move your X and Y on, on the curving. So you have quite a uh, very uh, strong curve here. So, at minus 100, we want minus 100. Okay, so you would set those values to minus 100. Now remember, here are our default values, if I can bring that back into the screen here. Uh, 41, 12, 13, and 36. So what you do is you add those numbers down this row here. Okay, or close enough. Now, when it gets to the middle three, I have got minus five, zero, and five. But for the top three, you would use, use these three. These three, and then of course for the last three, you would use these three. Now, we want these to correspond. So, at minus, get this in here, in your curve, at minus 100, we want it to have 100. So you go across there, minus 100, minus 100. At minus 41, we want it to actually be minus 85. So I've gone to minus 42, and I've put in here minus 85. At minus 12, we want it to be minus 70. So I've gone down again, tickled it around a bit. Minus 13, I want it to be minus 70. I've gone to minus 5, and I want that also to be minus 70, just so you know it, it stays in position. Uh, 0, 0, 5, 70, and we follow on. We can actually scroll down here get to the bottom three okay at uh, well I've changed that to 12 70 so at 13 70 at 36 got it 35 then you can go either side whichever way you want um, 85 and then at 100 100 and that's all you need to do um, so that's curve 17 and you, so you can set up curve 17 like that and then exit from there and I will just show you how to apply that as I said we're in mixer and I put it on channel 20 so there's there's the look mix we've been looking at 100% uh, p3 which is of course now our six position switch so we edit that um, you've got p3 weight 100 and you scroll down to where it says curve and then you add in there curve 17 once you apply that and exit, 
you will have curve 17 applied, which will give you the correct numbers 70, 70, 85, and 100 for your six position switch. Okay, so that's been a bit of an epic video. Um, it's a lot easier if you're not making a video, you're just going ahead and doing it yourself. Um, so yeah, hopefully it, you guys can install these switches yourself. They're quite easy to do. And then you just use the curve to adjust to whatever values you, you want. Now, of course, these have been adjusted to the ASP values. Uh, you know, if any other uh, company or any other whatever you're doing might have different sets of values, but the process is, is all the same. So thanks for watching and get busy installing those switches.